This type of diaper is rare. The kiddo from Abu is only attached with two adhesive strips. This always refers to the total number. So two does not mean two per side, as you know it from most diapers, whether medical or colorful printed. Instead, two means that there is only one adhesive per side. Some of you will still find this familiar. Children's diapers have always been designed this way, so they only had two adhesives, one on each side. It's a different story with adult diapers, but we'll come to that later. The pack is transparent with a large sticker on it, just like the classic packs. It contains 10 pieces, the waist circumference for size M ranges from 65 to 110 centimeters. The diaper itself combines printed owls with a dotted pattern on the adhesive surface, the pattern extends over the entire surface right up to the bottom. There are also patterns printed in a shade of green, which are probably intended to represent flowers. From the outside, the layout is similar to that of other ABDL diapers. What is striking is the pattern with fine dots over the entire surface, which I have never seen on any other diaper. As usual, we have a higher leakage protection on the inside, which should also be able to cope with a booster. You can only see the adhesives when you unfold them. Abu has opted for a wide adhesive that is slightly wider than two individual adhesives from other diapers. This concept is not entirely new, the Junior Plus has only two adhesives and was already tested in practice a while ago. Abu itself has launched a similar competitor on the market with the Cushies. This diaper has been around for a very long time. It was one of the first colorful printed ABDL diapers I saw and it seemed to be quite common for a while. How do you put on a diaper like this? Not quite so easy, because the wide adhesive, for example, easily forms waves underneath where there is air. This should be avoided, in the best case, it sticks to the adhesive surface without air underneath, as with diapers with four adhesives. What you notice immediately is that it is no longer possible to stabilize the diaper more finely with the adhesives. With four adhesives, I secured the hold with the upper ones and made them tighter with the lower ones, for a fit close to the body. Even if this is no longer possible and the adhesives have to be rather straight, the diaper holds properly as long as you place the adhesives close enough. What remains, however, is a loose film. With this diaper, we have a good bit of film under the adhesives that flaps around loosely. If you notice this, you think you haven't glued it properly. But there is no other way, because the second adhesive is normally on this lower piece and ensures that everything is stable and as little film as possible remains loose. So far I have had this issue with every diaper with only two adhesives, but in different ways. With Teddy's Ultra, this loose foil was at the top. I found this much more unpleasant because you constantly feel a very loose diaper on your stomach. As if the upper adhesives had torn. Abu has moved this to the bottom. I find it less annoying there, it's only on the sides and the top of the diaper is relatively stable. Incidentally, this concept is not entirely new, the Junior Plus only has two adhesives and was already tested in practice a while ago. Abu itself has launched a competitor on the market with a cushy with two instead of four adhesives. This diaper has been around for a very long time. It was one of the first colorful ABDL diapers I saw and it seemed to be quite common for a while. Let's take a look at the thickness and suction power of the Abu Kiddo. With an empty weight of 179 grams, it is very far behind, only the Playdays Classic from NRU weighed less at 166 grams. The result of the practical test is accordingly. After a bit more than 1.6 kilos, it started to leak, which is also a below average value. For those of you who like thick, high capacity diapers, this may be a disappointment, I can understand that. But there are also situations in which some people deliberately use thinner diapers. For example, if you can only wear them for a few hours. Or if you want them to be particularly inconspicuous. So I wouldn't see that as a bad thing across the board, but rather different. What about the price? The pack of 10 costs €28.95, so you have to pay €2.90 for a single diaper. Wow, that's a pretty hefty price for the service offered. Compared to others, I find that disproportionately expensive. The Kiddo Lil Soaker costs considerably less at €2.39 and, at over 1.9 kilos, has even lasted longer, to name just one example, if you can or want to spend as little money as possible. Want it to be even cheaper? Rears only charges €2.33 for the safari and the diaper weighed 2 kilos when it ran out. Even the Little Rascals V2 is still 21 cents cheaper at €2.69 each, and at over 2.4 kilos, it proved to have a significantly higher absorption capacity in practical tests. I could give a few more examples, all of which prove this, 
for what the diaper can withstand in terms of urine, the price is far too expensive. In my opinion, this does not justify the design or the decision to use two adhesives. For an optimal fit, this makes no sense anyway, because the body of adults is much larger than that of children and adults also put much more into the diaper. Even if it is less annoying with this diaper than with others and you theoretically only have to attach half as much adhesive, functionally, two adhesives instead of four make no sense and are at best a visual thing reminiscent of small children's diapers. What do you think about it? Feel free to write it in the comments and discuss it with the community. You can find lots of videos about other diapers on the site. Stay dry, see you next time.